Have you ever had this situation at work or at home where you're in a confrontation with somebody? You think you're being assertive, just assertive, but by their words or their actions, uh, they accuse you of being aggressive. I mean, think about that. Have you ever had that happen to you? happens all the time. I see leaders, managers, <laughs> husbands, wives get into a situation where they really think they're being assertive. But they're accused of being aggressive. I'm Pat Dewar and I, I want to share with you a way to be assertive without being perceived as aggressive. Because if you think about that very long, I'm pretty certain this has happened to every one of you. I want you to think of a situation where a confrontation went sideways. They accused you by their words or their, their actions, being aggressive. And you didn't think you were, but it still went sideways pretty badly, sometimes very badly. And, and think about that. And think about what was going on in that situation. What was happening? What was it about even? Do you remember? Yeah, I bet you do. And, and, and let me ask you to answer this question. In that situation, acknowledge to yourself, maybe even you know, in the comments below. If you, in that situation, all you were trying to do is show that your information, your way, or that you were right. <laughs> Is that, that, that it? Yeah, you, you were right. Okay. Huh. Well, I, I want you to think about these three words. Passive is a lose-win interaction. Assertive is a win-win interaction, or very balanced. Aggressive is a win-lose. Now, in that situation, you thought that your information, your way, or that you were right. Fascinating. Well, let's say that that situation was with me. Now, if I'm understanding you right, all you're trying to do is show that your information way or you're right. Is it, uh, Good, good. Well, then you're right and I'm, I'm what? <laughs> wrong. I mean, massively wrong. <laughs> Uninformed, uh, not fully, uh, 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 you know, given all the information, whatever. But if you're right, I'm wrong. And, and how does it feel to be right? Feels good, doesn't it? It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and so that means you, in that situation, you get to win and I get to what? Lose. Which one was win-lose again? Oh, that, that is aggressive. What? You were trying to be aggressive. You were trying to be assertive. You're trying to communicate in a way that makes sense to you. I get that. But you still get to win and I get to lose. That is aggressive. I mean, if, if I was to reverse it and say, I want to show how right I am, well, that means how what you are? Yeah, I pretty much know what you're going to do is you're going to go, Ra, ra. What? And then inside your head, you're going to accessing, accessing, you're accessing your data. Thinking, could, could Pat be right? And then you're going to remember the last week, you sent me three emails with the, the title bar got spell check. Because <laughs> I'm one of those creative sorts that could think of three to five ways to spell everything. And then you're going to go, there's no way he's right. And then what happens? A leg goes back. 
And then what happens? The blades come out and Wolverine is in the house. And then baby, it's on. <laughs> and then what happens? Usually you end up, you know, having to get some new education or something, you know, maybe go to a class on how to be better with people or whatever. What if I could show you a way to be assertive without being perceived as aggressive? Write this down. How can I make others right more often? R-I-G-H-T, right, by the way. How can I make others right more often? And I, I know you're inside your head going, there's no way. Uh, <laughs> what, they were wrong, weren't they? You were right. Yeah, how'd that work out? Okay, okay. So you actually need a decoder ring to use this. Write this underneath there. Ask rather than tell. Ask the questions that lead them to being right. Now, don't ask it with a Cheshire cat grin on your face. Don't ask it with uh, uh, an intent to show how uh, wrong and stupid they are. <laughs> now, that won't work out. Ask the questions like you're the coach of a seventh grade soccer team. Think about that process. If I ask the questions that lead someone else to being right, well, then they get to be what? Right. And if you started doing that in the future, how do you think that would affect your influence, your impact, your ability to serve, coach, lead in any way? Do you think those, those attributes would be going up or down? Well, they'd be going up. Every one of them. I'm just curious. At work, what do they pay you for? Results or ego? This is Pat Dewar. I coach business owners to create better conversations with their people to create better results because that's what they pay us for. Thanks so much. Like and share this if, you, if it has an impact on you. We'll talk to you next time.